Alright guys, welcome back to another sweet video and in this tutorial what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to make this more like a physics puzzle game. So what I mean is if you ever played Angry Birds you know that you just don't get unlimited shots at the tower. You only get one shot per turn. And right now we can click this a bunch of time and we have like a semi-automatic meatball cannon. So of course we don't want to let the user like fire 800 meatballs at our tower. We only want to allow them to shoot once per turn. It's a lot more fun that way. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that right now. Move my microphone. All right, there we go. So in the event sheet, what you can do is right click and hit add global variable. Now the name of this, I'll just name it to can fire. Basically it's saying, can the user fire a shot or not? Now just set this at number. This looks good. The initial value is zero looking good okay so we now have a global variable that we can control and we'll add some functionality to that later on so what we want to do is we want to change this variable whenever the user fires a meatball and that's this event right now this mouse on any click that means whenever they clicked it a meatball has been fired so what we want to do is add another condition to this to make sure um, pretty much to check this global uh, variable can fire right now so hit C on your keyboard and it's going to add another condition and for this one it's going to be system compare variable right here it's actually the only one under global and local variables and the variable should be good to go um, can fire equal to zero so right now set done and by default Remember, you want to set this to your default value. When our game first starts out, this can fire variable is equal to zero. And whenever it's equal to zero, you are able or able to fire a meatball. So after this happens, what we want to do is we want to add another action. So set system, and we want to set the value of a global variable to one. So basically, this is saying this. Whenever you're playing the game, make sure that your global, or excuse me, your can fire variable is equal to zero, basically whenever you first started. And after that, fire the meatball, and then set it to one. So basically, you're saying, I can only um, fire a meatball one time. So now whenever you run this game, let me fire this. And now, I don't know if you guys can hear me clicking but it fired once and I was only allowed to fire one meatball just like every other uh, puzzle game out there so that is how you do that and another thing that you guys probably noticed is that whenever we fired that I mean our tower is gonna be way over here on the right hand side so right now we're just firing this and it's going off screen and our camera is not following it at all of course we wanna see it what happens whenever the meatball hits the tower so let's have the camera follow the uh, meatball right now and in order to do that we need to select this meatball again and if you add another behavior by hitting behaviors then add if you scroll down you can see this little where is it so scroll to right here it's under general scroll to in the description always center the view which is pretty much the camera on this object and hit add so now this meatball has physics and scroll to basically saying hey camera follow me around or concentrate on this point so add that right now and the camera now follows the meatball and also um, earlier whenever I was talking about parallax properties if your parallax property for the game layer or if your camera is going too slow then increase this if it's going too fast and it shoots right by the meatball then lower it but uh, right now I think that's pretty good 160 by 160 let me run that again yeah that's pretty good camera right there so the only other thing that I want to do in this tutorial is this check it out whenever we shoot the meatball in the air like that what I want to do is I actually want to destroy the meatball and this is you want to do this a lot for uh, memory purposes but basically 
whenever this meatball goes outside this layer then destroy it so we want to add one more behavior and this one is destroy and I cannot find it behavior da, 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 da. destroy it how can I find there's like five buttons here all right so automatically destroy the object if it leaves the layout area so add this and another cool thing that this does as well is say that we have a tower um, and it's built and it's only like not that tall whenever our meatball, meatball goes like that and it goes off the screen um, the memory doesn't keep tracking it when it rolls off so whenever it goes too far it automatically gets destroyed and we can just say okay let's just use a new turn or in the game or whatever logic we want to add to the game but right now that helped us out with some memory our meatball is now firing our camera's following it and the only other thing well we have to do a bunch of stuff in the rest of the tutorials but for now thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time